Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this video, we are going to discuss cross-browser testing with WebDriver IO, that too in parallel mode. Okay, so till now, whatever videos we have seen, we have executed our WebDriver IO test in Firefox, in Chrome, in Edge browser, right? But we were running these tests one by one. But what if I want to run all the tests or one test in all the three browsers or all the tests in all the three browsers? How we can do that? That we will see. So whenever you run one test in different browser that is known as cross browser testing and when you run the same test in different platform it known as cross platform testing okay so if i execute my test in chrome firefox safari edge it will call as cross browser but if i execute the same test in different you know platform let's say uh, windows mac linux or any other platform we'll call this a cross platform testing so let's see how we can do that so good thing about WebDriver IO that in order to perform this cross browser, you don't need to run any piece of code. You don't need to make any code changes. You just need to modify this config file. Okay. So let me show you how. So, so in the first part, we will see, um, we'll run one test in three browser. And in the second part, what we will do, we'll have multiple tests and then we'll run the test in parallel mode. Okay. We'll have multiple instances will be running. So uh, let's say, first instance you know one instance and then we'll see multiple instances as well so that's the beauty of webdriver io that by default it runs your test in parallel mode so you don't need to mention anything um, so once you have cross browser mentioned it will run your test in parallel by default so let me show you how you can do that so first of all i want to highlight that uh, in our previous videos we have seen how to use this selenium standalone service right so i have used this service in order to work with Firefox, Edge browser and Chrome. So I'm going to use this service. So in case if you have not seen that video, please go ahead and watch. That is the precondition for this video. I will give you the link in the description. So please go ahead and watch that. So in case you don't have this, you know, in your package.json file, so you can simply run this command. And let me show you my package.json file. I already have this in my dev dependencies, as you can see, Selenium standalone service. At the time of recording, the current version is 7.16.6. .6. So in case few browsers are not working for you, please make sure you update, update the service. Now, once the service is up and running, once it is added, now you can run your test into different browsers. As you can see, we just need to change these capabilities and we're good to go. So let's do one thing. Let's go back to our webdriver io.config.js file. So first thing that I will be doing is I will change the service. So if you just notice, I'm using at this moment Chrome driver service, but now I will comment this and I will be using this service, which is Selenium standalone service. That is the first thing. Second thing come up and you will see this capabilities, right? So now you can see we have a lot of comments. Let me remove all of this. Let's keep it clean. Okay. And if you don't want this, you can remove this as well, but let's keep this accept insecure certificate to true. And right now by default, max instance is set to five. I will change it to one. Okay. And this is only for Chrome. So if I want other browsers also, so I can, you know, copy this, put comma, and now I can add another for Firefox. Okay. So if you come back here, you can see for Firefox, we have to use Firefox. And again, I will set max instance is one and same. I will do for um, Microsoft edge as well. So again, I will copy this and I will paste here. Same max one instance. And I also want to run Microsoft edge. That's all I need to make the changes. So whenever we will run our test, it will run our test in Chrome, Firefox and Microsoft Edge. And as you can see, maximum instance is one. So if you have multiple tests, it will go in a queue. Once these sessions will be free, it will allocate the next session for the next test. Now we need the test, right? So you can run all the tests. Okay. It is just, if I run all the tests in all the three browsers, it will take a lot of time. So I'm going to pick one of the tests that we have seen in the past, which is first test.js. So this test is basically, you know, this test suite having three test cases. One is verify URL, verify title and verify login. 
so let me run this so how to run npx webdriver io run we are going to run this webdriver io.config.js file hyphen hyphen spec and i will provide this first test.js okay now let's run this and see the moment you run this it's going to take these test cases as you can see execution of three workers started because we have configured three browser in our config.js file so let's wait again how many parallel execution you have it's totally depend on your system configuration okay do not cross you know multiple sessions because each browser takes memory so if you have multiple browsers running it will slow down your system and your test might start failing so it depends on your system configuration you can decide how many workers you want or how many browsers and how many parallel sessions you want okay so you can see now test running in firefox chrome and edge and it's picking this first test.js okay so chrome started and second is our edge and third is our firefox no code changes i just made small configuration changes and my tests are running okay as you can see it's running chrome is already done this is also done firefox is running little slow but yeah this also executed and yeah it's taking some time and yes this is also done so you can see same test same test suite executed in three different browsers so total spec file three passed and each spec file have like this spec file have three tests okay so three for firefox three for chrome and three for edge now suppose if i want to run multiple how we can do that see if you don't give anything it will run all right but uh, let's say now apart from this i want to run one more spec file let's say this one multiple element.js file here i have just two test so i'm going to run this as well again i will say hyphen hyphen spec and i'm going to run this multiple element.js file so basically how many sessions will start so as of now three sessions are running right um now the moment i run this let's see so total six so two for um two chrome browsers two firefox and two edge browsers but if you go back to our config dot uh, config dot js file what we have set is maximum instances one so even though six workers started maximum instances set to one so you can see they are running one by one okay like one one instance and once any of the session is free it will pick the another test and it will run but if you want multiple workers should start and they should start executing then you can change the maximum instances so that's the reason i have changed it to one and now we have six worker node so once they will execute now it is going to run the next test which is multiple element.js and it will run in the same three browsers as you can see first three started three executed now again three browsers are running and it will execute multiple element.js file So this is related to some tutorial scenario and it's executing. So now you got the concept of max instances, right? So now let me change it to three max. Okay, three, three. So max, three Chrome can run in parallel, three Firefox can run in parallel and max three Edge browser can run in parallel. Now, since we are running, uh, you know, two spec files, which is first test.js, and multiple element.js so two chrome sessions will be allocated uh, for this again two uh, firefox and two edge browsers so the moment i run this just notice now execution of six workers started 
so two chrome two firefox and two edge okay let's wait okay it's taking some time it's so no problem let's wait as you can see two firefox two chrome and two edge so yes two chrome and yes firefox also started two firefox in a similar way edge will also start a lot of sessions running okay now it's executing what it is and once it is done it is closing as well so depends on how many tests you want to run in parallel make sure you give them in a web driver io.config.js file and you can also define how many uh, parallel instances that you want to use it okay so now it is it is started a little late but yeah it is running so suppose now you want to run uh, three spec files okay now you want to run let's say this screen a uh, screenshot demo.js so now you will see nine session will start one uh, session for each spec file and it will support till maximum three because we have made the changes inside this config file right so make sure this plays a very important and do not overdo it you cannot say that 10 10 10 because it totally depends on your system configuration so make sure you use this in a smart way okay so I hope you got the concept and uh, in case if any of the browser is not you know working in that case you can see the errors in the debug mode and you can fix it so if I show you oh, this webdriver dot webdriver.io.config.js file just search for log level so right now it's set to silent so I'm getting only limited output but let's say you want some additional logs so you can change it to info and then run it so in, in case if you face any issue you can change it to debug as well so if I run this you will see some additional information now okay you can see this run on prepare hook it is getting prepared so you'll get to know so many ad additional details in case any failure you will get to know the reasons and then you can fix it the one issue which I found uh, was the service version which was not updated so I just updated my service version and there was no issue you can see all these sessions are getting prepared even though we have max instances 3 but we are running 2 spec file so 2 browsers each like 2 Firefox, 2 Chrome and 2 Edge and let it run it will take some time and now since we have changed the log level now you can see additional output like what is running and what is the current state of each test okay so that's all for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed this it's very easy as i mentioned no code changes just you need to change this configuration file and it can run your test in parallel mode that too in cross browser okay so that's all for this video please support this channel share with your friends subscribe to this channel and if you find any other issue let me know in the comment section and i will try my best to answer them thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye bye okay let it run yeah almost done yes finally six passed six total Thank you so much.